My name is Maritrini Mena. I'm a journalist from Venezuela. I work in Globovision, the only 24 hours news channel in my country. I'm here in Canada. This is my first time in the country. Thanks to the support of Canadian Journalists for Free Expression, Scotia Bank, and Massey College. In this college, I'm living since November. This is my house, and I'm thrilled to be here because I'm learning so much stuff. I'm studying at the University of Toronto, and this opportunity gives me the time to think about journalists, how to become a better journalist. I'm Anna Luango, and I'm the college administrator here at Massey College. And one of my big jobs at Massey is to run the journalism program. The program has been running for just 50 years now, actually. It started, they started it even before the college was actually finished. The journalists, are, they're not allowed to do any of their own work while they're here for the eight-month academic year. And um, so they, they don't do any of their own work, but while they're here, they are free to audit as many classes as they want at University of Toronto. I found in, in my classes different ways of doing things, better are at least are different times. I don't know if our best, the best, but different ways of doing things and new things. And I know I don't know this this opportunity give you the chance to charge your batteries because I know when I come back, what is waiting for me is not it's not good. You can say that in Venezuela there's freedom of speech. People, there's still media open, there's still the possibility to say something uh, different from what the government says. But the most important thing is that if you say the truth, maybe that's, that have consequence. And it's not, it's not completely free if you have consequence because of what you say. Justicia. La doctora Luisa Estela Morales, la ex. Right now, our president is ill, and I don't know what is going to happen really in my country. So if I have to handle that, that is difficult, it's a difficult situation, I'm going to be like, prepared and rested for that. It's very challenging, especially depending on what's going on in the world. When there are major things happening. I'll never forget the year of 9-11 when, you know, that September, it was just the group of journalists that we had that year were just almost biting at the bit to get back into their newsrooms. You know, they, they, they felt very much apart from all that was going on. I hope I, I will be there to report that. I hope I will be there to to tell the truth or that's what, that's what we do. We don't intend, I mean journalists, we don't intend to harm anyone. We just want to work to inform the truth. And sometimes that's hard, but some, somebody has to do it. That's, our, that's why we commit to this profession.